the treasure hunt a sesame street book that's a sesame street book with big bird and elmo i couldn't think i almost said i almost said ernie because ernie and elmo both start with an e but that is not ernie that is elmo and this is a library book that I took out of our library. You can tell it's a library book because it has this barcode on it, see? This is what the person at the library who works there uses to scan a library book so somebody can borrow it. So Graham borrowed this and I wanna read it so I can return it and someone else can check it out, right? That's how a library works, we borrow, which means we always give it back, all right. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to read part of the title. It says it's a story about geography and maps. So they are looking at this map and they're trying to find the treasure. All right, let's see what's happening. One afternoon, Elmo is sipping a figgy fizz float at Hooper's store. When Big Bird burst in, Elmo, he shouted excitedly, look what I found in my mailbox this morning, a map. Oh, said Elmo, what's a map? A map is a picture that shows us where places and things are, answered Big Bird as he spread the map on the counter. I bet this one is a treasure map. There it is. Did you guys recently have a treasure hunt? I think I saw that. Look at Graham's curly oh my gosh look at this did you have a treasure hunt with that mommy made for Clayton maybe you they used did you have a treasure map that looked like this Elmo recognized the first picture on the map right away it showed a nest a mailbox and some doors it was Big Bird's home where is that a nest oh there it is the first one. The treasure hunter scurried off down Sesame Street towards Big Bird's nest. There they go. When they got there, Big Bird and Elmo compared the nest with the picture on the map. Look, Elmo, said Big Bird, here are my doors on the map and there are my real doors. There's my mailbox, and here it is in the picture. Yippee, said Elmo. Yippee. Can anyone else say yippee? Yippee. <laughs> yippee. Lala. Just then, Little Bird flew in. Oh, did you know that there's someone called Little Bird? He's cute. He carried two bright balloons in his beak. Here is your first treasure, he chirped. Neato, said Elmo. Oh, look, they got like a little prize at the treasure hunt. They got two balloons. And there's the map again. Little Bird gave each of them a balloon. Where to next, Big Bird wondered and looked at the map again. Where will they go next? I know, I know where the next place is on the map, said Elmo. It's got doors and steps and a trash can. It is 123 Sesame Street. There's the address, 123. Big Bird held the map and stood where he could look at the steps just as they were in the picture. Yep, we're in the right place, all right, said Big Bird. He's looking at the map and he sees the picture. Maybe Oscar knows where the treasure is, said Elmo. He knocked rat-a-tat-tat on Oscar's can. Knock, 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 knock. Oscar popped up and shoved two paper hats into Elmo's hands. Here's your treasure, grumped Oscar. Now get lost. The grouch banged the trash can shut. Big Bird and Elmo laughed and put on their party hats. Wow. They have balloons now and party hats. Huh, that's very interesting. Big Bird looked at the map again to see where to go next. It showed a picture of a tree with a swing. There was only one place that could be, the Arbor area. 
Big Bird and Elmo zipped off down the street. There they go. They look pretty happy. At the Arbor area, Big Bird checked the map to see if they were in the right place. Surprise, yelled Ernie and Bert. They jumped out from behind the tree and tooted on little horns. Then Elmo and Bert gave the horns to Ernie, I mean to Elmo and Big Bird. Graham keeps doing that because Ernie and Elmo both start with the letter E and I keep getting confused. Oh, look, there's a tire swing. Who is it? Swing. Who has a tire swing? Is that Ann M's tire swing? The next place on the map was a store. Big Bird recognized the fix-it shop, so Big Bird and Elmo scampered off with their balloons, hats, and tutors. There they go. They look very happy. When they got to the fix-it shop, Big Bird made sure they were on the right track. Sure enough, the picture on the map looked like the fix-it shop. Maria and Luis had taken Gabriella out to the park, so Telly was minding the store. That's Telly. He held two tiny baskets filled with treats. Here's your treasure, fellows. Telly gave the baskets to Big Bird and Elmo. That's really cool. I want to go on a treasure hunt and get little bags of treats. I was telling Poppy that because Poppy's over there. Maybe Poppy can make a treasure hunt for Graham today. Wouldn't that be fun? What? I think Poppy's like Oscar the Grouch. Is this Poppy? Poppy? Oh. Yes, big Poppy Grouch. Like, uh... Over. The next place on the map was a big stone castle with towers and a moat. Why, it's the Count's Castle, said Big Bird. Big Bird and Elmo packed, picked up their tiny baskets and tutors, their balloons. They were tied around their wrists and their hats were snapped snugly beneath their chins. Let's go, said Big Bird, and off they went. Bye, Telly. Ooh, look where the Count lives. He lives in a castle. Greetings, called the Count. Big Bird and Elmo crossed the drawbridge over the Count's moat. According to your map, you are in the right place. You are two wonderful treasure hunters. Here is your treasure. That Count handed Elmo and Big Bird each a small paper bag. Inside, they found a fancy paper cup, a fancy napkin, fork, and spoon. What do you think all these treasures they're collecting means? They got balloons. They have little horns. They go do do do. They got party hats. They have treat baskets. They have a fancy cup, a fork, a spoon, maybe a napkin. What could that mean, Poppy? <laughs> means they're at a party. Poppy's sleeping. Poppy, wake up. I'm okay. Big Bird and Elmo were almost at the end of the treasure hunt. There was only one picture left on the map. It showed a cave. Look at that thing. Big Bird knew only one somebody who lived in a cave. The treasure hunters hurried on through the countryside. Who lives in a cave? Graham doesn't know. When they arrived at the cave, Big Bird looked at the map again. The cave door looked just like the one in the picture. Yes, siree, this is the same cave as the one on the map, said Big Bird. It's Snuffy's cave, and he's having a party. Whoopee, yelled Elmo, party. Lots of Sesame Street friends were there. Little Bird, Telly, Ernie, and Bert, the Count, and even Oscar. A feast of Snuffy's favorite food was laid out on plastic tables. Only one thing was missing, the Snuffleupagus himself. I remember the Snuffleupagus. <gasps> there he is. Here I am, snorted Snuffy as he toddled out of his cave. He was carrying a big cake decorated with a picture of a Snuffleupagus. Snuffy. 
laid the snuffle cake down on the table and cut it into slices. It's National Snuffleupagus Day. Thank you for celebrating it with me, said Snuffy. Big Bird, Elmo, and Snuffy gobbled up their cake. Thanks for the treasure map, Snuffy, said Big Bird. Let's have a treasure hunt every day on Snuffleupagus Day. That was fun. Boy, those Sesame Street guys have a lot of parties, don't they? They eat a lot of cake, too. They eat a lot of cake. I would like a piece of cake. Poppy, you want cake? Yeah. <laughs> Poppy took it. All right. Hope you liked this book, The Treasure Hunt. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oscar the Grouch says, see you soon. Big Bird says, see you soon. This is Teddy Bear.